1653, and back in those days when people had passed away, they were laid to rest here. But as we grew in this area, we started building homes, and now this, this neighborhood became like a neighborhood cemetery. That's basically what they are, okay? Um, but another thing to th of consider is, you know, if, 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 if each tomb has a value of about $60,000, what would be the value of this one cemetery? A lot of money. That's the best answer. I don't even try and figure it out. A lot of money. So when you think about that, it's, that's, that's astounding, you know, and this is just one of 42 cemeteries. Now, another thing you might consider above ground cemeteries, uh, then you might want to consider, well, if a, if a tomb was built in 1853 for, let's say, five people, and all five people have now passed on, who takes care of the family tomb that was bought by that family? Do you think I am? No. I'm too busy giving tours. <laughs> but what if back in the old days you built a tomb out of brick? Weeds started to grow, flooding, vandalism. Things start to fall into a state of disrepair, right? And that's what happened. So you know what the Catholic Church did? They started selling these fixer-upper tombs to someone for a better price. So that back in those days, Let's say I could buy a fixer upper tomb and fix it up. It's now my tomb, but those five people are inside there. The remains have to stay inside, but I'm going to take their name off the front and with respect to that family, put their names on the side and put my name on the front. So when you walk around here, you might see that. Or it was just outright sold to somebody else. Remember, this is personal property, like your house or your car, right? Okay. Um, another thing. You might say, well, my gosh, um, I don't want that to ever happen to my tomb. What can I do about it? Well, this cemetery, the church that owns the cemetery, the St. Louis Church, they offer a one-time fee called perpetual care. So when you walk around here on some of these tombs, you'll see two words, perpetual care. That's what that is. So I want to call that to your attention. All right? All right, so we'll stop there. And if you want to stretch your legs, take a photograph. Uh, or stay in the bus. We stay spend another maybe 10 minutes here, and then we'll move on to something else more lively.